Hello video creators, welcome to Storyshow. In this tutorial we're going to recreate this particle logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. And for this one I'm using the Particle Illusion plugin from Boris Effects. Particle Illusion is part of the Continuum Bundle, a collection of visual effect filters and plugins for video professionals. This logo reveal that we're creating today is just one creative example of what you can do with this awesome plugin. Particle Illusion is a very powerful tool that you can use to create all kinds of interesting particle effects. Anyway, just keep watching this tutorial and you'll see what I mean. Ok, I hope you're ready, it's time to move over to After Effects and start some editing. Inside After Effects I'll start by making a new composition. Let's rename this composition to Logo Reveal. I'm using a 1080p 25 frames per second sequence for this example. The duration is set to 7 seconds and the sequence background is black. I'll hit OK to create the new composition and now we can start building the base for the particle logo reveal. I'll start here by adding my logo to the timeline. Then hit the S key to show the scaling properties and scale it down. After that I'll hit the P key to view the position properties and reposition the logo like this. Now we can add some text. I'll enable the type tool by hitting Ctrl plus T and then type Story Shim. Then I'll exit type mode by hitting Ctrl Enter and then go back to the selection tool by hitting the V key. Then I'll resize the text to something like this and also align this to the center. Now we can pre-compose these two layers. I will select them both, then right click and select pre-compose. I will name this composition a logo and then hit OK. Next I'm going to let After Effects create some masks for us. With the new composition selected I'll move over to the menu on top, then go to layer and select auto trace. I can leave all the settings on the defaults for what we're going to do here and then hit OK. And now as you can see After Effects has created some masks for us. And if I open the layer properties you can find all these masks here. We're going to use these masks as a path for the particle reveal. And speaking about particles it's time to add the particle illusion effect. If you've installed Boris Effects Continuum you will find the particle illusion effect here inside the effects panel. I'm going to drag this effect over to the timeline and apply this to the logo layer. Then I'll move over to the effect controls panel and click on launch particle illusion. And this will open up particle illusion in a new separate window where we can continue. Inside particle illusion I will start by picking one of the thousands available emitters. For this example I will use Sparkle's Smoke 10A, this one. You can double click on the emitter to apply this to the composition. And now you can see the emitter here on top of the logo. And by the way if you can't see your logo then you might need to set this option here to composite over source video. And here in the right bottom corner you can find the different layers that are applied for this emitter. And as you can see here the standard colors for this emitter are more blue and grey. I will change this to the color of my logo and I'm going to make the smoke a bit lighter. Let's start with that. I will select smoke 2 and then inside the properties I will change the color. For this one I'll pick something grey green and I'll also make it lighter. Perfect. And then I will also change the color of the other smoke layer. Here I will only make this a bit lighter, something like this should work. And finally I will also change the colors of the sparks. I will change this into the color of my logo which has this color code. Next I will also change the size of the sparks, I'll change this from 10 into 5. I've changed the size of the sparks because I'm going to change the shape image. If you click on this small icon next to shape image it will open up a new window where you can select a new shape. I'm going to use one that you can find under sparkles and it's named dot blurred. I'll hit apply here and if I scrub to the timeline or give this a playback you can see the particles that I've added on top of the logo. This looks good enough for now so I'll hit apply here in the right bottom corner to go back to After Effects. Back inside After Effects I'll start by animating the particles on the path of the masks. In the effect controls panel I'll select emitter at the transforms and that's because we're going to animate based on the position of the emitter. And then I will select mask or text at take path from. And then if I change this to the logo layer it will show an emitter on every mask. And the emitter is placed on the first vertex, the biggest point of the mask or the first point of the mask. But for this logo reveal animation I don't want an emitter on every part of the logo. I want the parts to be revealed one by one, so that's why I'll choose all masks sequentially. 
This option will animate an emitter on the path of each mask, so it will start with the first mask, then animate on the path of the second mask, and so on. But be aware that it might be necessary to change the order of the mask if you use auto trace just like I did. Like in this example, mask 7, the letter T, should be after mask 3, the letter S. And also, mask 6, the letter S, needs to be placed after mask 10. And now the order seems to be correct. Next I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline, and then enable keyframes for path location. Then move a couple of frames forward and then change this into 1. And with these two keyframes, it will complete an animation on the path of all masks and then end at the first mask, as you can see when I scrub to the timeline. But in this case we want to end at the letter M and we also want the emitter to stop emitting new particles. So here at the point of the last keyframe for path location, I will enable keyframes for number inside the particle properties and then add a keyframe with value 0. And then I'll move a couple of frames back and change the value to 800. So now the entire reveal has a lot more particles, but this will go back to 0 when we arrive at the letter M. Another thing that I want to increase is life. I will set this to 150. And increasing this means that the particles or the sparks will stay longer on screen before they fade out. Ok, let's have a look at what we've made so far before we continue to the next step. In the following steps I will reveal the logo along with the path of the particles. First I need to duplicate the layer on the timeline. You can do this by selecting it and then hitting Ctrl plus D. Then I'll remove the effect and masks from layer 2, so only the logo itself remains. Then select the top one and change the mask layer back to layer 1. After that I will change the composite style from direct to alpha. If I now disable layer 2 you can see that only the particles are visible in layer 1 and the logo itself is transparent. Now layer 2 only contains the logo, so we're going to use that to animate the reveal. And to do this I'm going to add two masks manually. I've got layer 2 selected so now I can enable the rectangle tool and add two masks. One for the logo icon and one for the text. Now I'm going to scrub forward to the point where the letter M is covered by the emitter. That's where I'm going to add the first keyframe for mask path by enabling keyframes. Then I'm going to move back to the point where the letter S is covered. That's where I'm going to move the mask all the way to the left, like this. And now with these two keyframes the word Storishim gets revealed gradually along with the particles. And of course you should take the time to tweak the keyframes and improve the timing. You can also select the keyframes then hit F9 for easy ease and smoothen the animation. Next I'll move to the beginning of the timeline and enable keyframes for the logo icon mask. Then I'll move this mask to the top left like this. And then skip a few frames forward and place the mask back on top of the icon. And for this mask I will also add some feathering, let's start with 35. I'll scrub to the timeline to see how this looks. Well I think we should add some more, let's do 120. That looks a lot better. Ok, let's see what we've got so far before we continue to the final steps. Let's stylize it all a bit more, I'll start by enabling glow in the particle illusion effect and then increase the glow intensity and radius as well. And now as you can see here, the particles have an intense glow, which looks really awesome. Ok, in the next step I'm going to add some background particles. I'll add an adjustment layer, and then rename this to background. And then place this layer below the other two. And then apply the particle illusion effect to it, and launch particle illusion from the effect controls panel. In Particle Illusion we're going to start with the preset Slow Burst with Turbulence. I'll double click to apply this one, and then with this part selected, move over to the properties to change the color. In this case I'll just select something that is close enough to the colors of my logo. And then I'll select the second part, Sparkle, and then go into the color properties. And for color type I will select color from layer, this means that it will use the color that we selected for the other part. Now if I give this a playback you can see that there's a lot of turbulence. It's a bit too much for what we're trying to achieve with this logo reveal. So that's why I'm going to lower the value for position turbulence and size turbulence. Let's give it a playback. Yes, this is exactly how I want the turbulence to look for my logo reveal. There's one more thing that I want to adjust, and that's the position of the emitter. I want this to be behind the logo icon. 
so I'll just move it up here. It does not need to be centered perfectly, this is good enough. We can now click on apply here in the right bottom corner and go back to After Effects. And the final step in After Effects is moving the adjustment layer forward, so the burst will start after the logo icon is revealed. And this is the final result for this logo reveal tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did then please like the video, that really helps me to grow my channel. And to conclude this video, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.